You heard it straight from the Queen of Christmas herself. Morgan, no, I'm just kidding. Mariah Carey, the holidays <laughs> are coming, whether you're ready or not. I wasn't ready for that. Hey. Okay. While this time is usually full of joy, with family and friends coming together, it can also cause some stress and lead to some tough conversations with your loved ones. With us now, family and clinical psychologist, Dr. Jennifer Hartstein, here to help us navigate the holiday anxiety. Thank you, Dr. Jen. This is a conversation I feel like we have every year, we look forward to every year, and it's important every year. So yeah. first, let's talk about kind of setting the tone. How do we mentally get ready? Ready for the holidays and all that family time. <laughs> and all that family time. Well, I think it's also important to remember it's November 1st. Yeah. Right? And so we do have some time before the holidays. So I think there is the kind of urgency of getting into the routine, but like also be in this moment, right? We've got mm. a few weeks before Thanksgiving, we've got more time before Christmas. So create kind of the structure that you want it to look like. Do what works for you. That doesn't have to mean that works for everybody else, but make sure you take some time for yourself away from the holiday stuff. But like, don't rush it, you know? I mean, I think that's a thing we all do, and then we forget that like this moment exists too, yeah. and then what do we do? You know, every in every families, there's all the humans, all the different types, right? <laughs> yep. And it's, it's, you know, we can't ignore the fact that we're four days away from an election, and after that day, there's gonna be a lot of the country that maybe isn't so happy. Correct. How can you disengage from some of those uncomfortable conversations, or when those conversations become uncomfortable? Because I don't think that politics is inherently uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. but no. should things feel a little There different? are a lot of things that can be uncomfortable, right? Someone can talk to you about, like, you know, your relationship, and yeah. when you're getting married, yeah, or totally. are you having children? I mean, there's totally. so many things we have to set and create boundaries around and that's where it starts. Set appropriate expectations. And that may be having those conversations before you show up with Uncle Jim mm -hmm. and you kind of tell everybody, we're not talking about fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. And stick to that, right? So create that boundary, manage that expectation, and say no and walk mm -hmm. away. Hey, I am not comfortable having this conversation right now, so I'm not gonna engage with you, and walk away. I want to talk about something that I think a lot of us can deal with. This is the holiday season. It also becomes a spending season, which can create a ton of financial stress for folks. Correct. Talk about the different ways that you recommend people manage that financial stress and some, maybe Great some question. good you know, tactics we can adopt now. Yeah, well, I think this is really important. What's your budget, yeah. right? I think we often just don't stop and think about what's, yeah. what are we really capable of? Set the budget, set expectations, what are your limits, and have mm -hmm. open conversations. I think, I mean, you know this too, and the other things you talk about, it's so if we're afraid to talk about finances, yeah. but let's talk about what's possible, what's not possible, and stay in that box because when you overextend, it creates problems down the road, and right. we want to avoid that too. Can we switch gears and talk about all the fun things that of course come with the can. holiday? Because, I mean, what are some fun activities you can do to sort of just, you know, keep the mood light? Right. Well, I think that's so important because we've lost the thread, I think, a little bit of what the holidays are about, which is about connection and love and really being engaged with the people in our lives. So create fun. What are the kind of rituals and fun things that you're creating in your family? Can you give back, right? What are the traditions mm, you can create? Like my that. family, we always delivered meals on Thanksgiving. That was yes. a ritual we did forever. And then, you know, if finances is, are an issue and you have a big family or a lot of friends, can you do a white elephant? Can you do a secret Santa? Yeah. Can you do a Hanukkah Harry? Like, whatever works in your Love traditions. Love a Hanukkah Harry. So Hanukkah Harry. Hanukkah Harry. Harry. And, and we do game nights. And also, mm -hmm. you know, you can buy, like, a cheap $30 karaoke. Like, yeah. I can oh, throw down so on some Frankie right. Beverly and Maze. You're there you welcome go. to come to the party. I am in. Like I would, don't eating. let my invite get lost in the mail. Listen, Dr. Aww. Jen, it is always a pleasure to Thanks, see you. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. And stay with us. You're watching NBC News Daily. Thank you.